morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. So let's start with our morning song. Hello, friends. How are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbors, boogie on down. Give a clap and turn around. Hello, fr <clears throat> friends. How are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbors, boogie on down. Give a clap and turn around. Hello, everybody. I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, today we're going to do calendar. I'm going to send out some videos today, uh, probably a story time. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a special request for my friends. All right, so let's look at calendar. We're going to sing our April song. It is April. So go sing the song for April, A-P-R-I-L. April is the fourth month and spring is here as well. Days are getting warmer and flowers start to sprout. A-P-R-I-L, that's what April's all about. All right, we said April's the fourth month. And as we look in here, we go one, two, three. It is the third day. So there's number three. And if I put it on here, I put it on this day. And it starts with the F. And F says, so now we're going to sing our song to figure out which song, which day of the week is a sound. And we said there are seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. seven is a five and two more. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Did you hear it? Which one said it's Friday? So today is Friday. Now we look back one day, we see that it starts with a TH, TH is that stick your tongue out. So what day is that? Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Now we're going to jump from Friday to tomorrow. Oh, it starts with an S. Well, we have two days that start with an S. We have Saturday and Sunday. So what we want to do is look for the next letter and we see that it's an A. We know that A says A, so we got S. And then we have a T, SAT. So just by sounding out those first three sounds, sat, we know that tomorrow is Saturday. So tomorrow will be Saturday. All right. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Okay, I'm going to get my whiteboard out and we are going to write the short date. All right. So we know that we are looking at the number of the month. And the number of the month, everybody, was a four. So we are gonna write a four. And then we're gonna put a dash. And we know that we are in the third day of the month. We're gonna put another dash. And the year is 2020. So we're gonna write 2020. And there is our short date, 4-3-2020. All right, we're gonna go look out the window in just a minute to look at the weather, so let's sing our song. What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? All right, so we're going to move real quick. We're going to look out the window. I see some sun, I see some clouds, and I see some wind. Wow. We got three different things we can go to. Well, I'm going to go put sunny, but I also think we can put windy because it is sunny and it's a little windy. So I'm going to put today the weather is sunny and windy. So 
Today, the weather is sunny and windy. Now we want to write our sentence. So I'm going to get my board. I'm going to use the same board that I write the short date so you can rewrite that. Write it if you haven't. And I'm going to write today. It is sunny, and then I get to use my trick word, or my word and, A-N-D, and windy. Now I'll add my period at the end, so you guys will have a chance to write it. Make sure you start with an uppercase T for the word today, because it's the beginning of my sentence space between my words and a period at the end. Today, it is sunny and windy. Remember, because I added a period at the end of my sentence, it makes it a statement. I'm telling you, it's windy and it's sunny. I'll give you another minute. And if your parent wants to pause it, they can go ahead and pause it and you can finish writing your sentence. This is good practice. All right. If you didn't get it done, just kind of rewind and go back. All right. So today I have a special request. So for my classroom 106, I want you to try to write a sentence and draw a picture of something that you're going to do this weekend because I won't be here Saturday or Sunday just like at school. And I will email this to your parents as well, but I want you to write me a sentence and draw me a picture of something that you are going to do this weekend. Now you can either post it on Facebook or I will send directions to your parents on what you can do and how they can send it to me but I'm excited to see what everybody is doing. I miss your sharing time. I miss learning about you and seeing what you're going to do. So until I see you again, bye and have a great day. Miss you all.